Okay guys, let's move on to another component here and what I chose next was the uh, second IF can. And uh, we'll do some testing here. I'll show you where that's at. So here's the uh, front of the chassis and um, here's the uh, second IF transformer sits back here in the back. And I've referenced the uh, schematic, so let me show you where the uh, connection points are that we'll be uh, testing from. Just make sure this is in uh, everyone's view. Let me get the meter on. And what I'm going to be doing is coming off of the, uh, the 6K7 uh, tube. And the second IF actually sits in between, and I'll, again, I'm going to reference a picture-in-picture -picture so you guys can follow along here. It sits in between the uh, 6K7 IF tube and the uh, 6B6, which is the uh, second detector, first uh, audio ABC. And the 6K7 is here, and the IF itself transformer is fed off of the plate which is pin 3 so um, again pin 3 you know starting here at your key is 1 2 3 and by the way I think I've showed these clips before um, more I use them the more I like them um, I think they're made by uh, Parrot and uh, they really come in handy so again I'm going to go 1 2 3 and um, Let's see if I can get myself connected here. And my uh, second connection point, I'm actually using the uh, brown wire that attached itself to the speaker because if you follow things along, the second connection on the bottom side of the IF actually just makes it makes itself around uh, that part of the uh, the wiring configuration so uh, you can see here on the meter um, hopefully that's showing up I've got uh, what right at 51.1 ohms of uh, DC resistance so um, none of this is documented in the radio so I'm gonna go ahead and just document this for reference and uh, you know just make sure again we've got impedance we don't have an open coil and then if there's any variations in the way the radio performs and we'll have to do a deeper dive plus I have my second Zenith um, that I want to restore as well it's a 5S27 just like this one or excuse me 5S29 like this one so I want to uh, I can always leverage that one for uh, reference so let me get this documented here. Again, I showed it on the uh, the picture in picture where we're testing. Then we'll move over to the secondary and uh, repeat the uh, same exercise. Okay, again, back to that second uh, reference point here that I want to make. Again, we'll be looking at the uh, secondary of the uh, second IF filter here. And my connection point I'm going to use is going to be right here on the uh, 6B6 or 6 Baker 6 tube. So let me uh, flip this over. And again, I'll show this in a picture in picture so you guys can follow along and uh, see the connection points. But um, if you look at the schematic, you'll see that the secondary on the top side connects itself back over to the 6B6 tube. And it attaches itself to the, uh, the plate or the diodes. And uh, they're connected to uh, pins 4 and 5. So again, there's a dog bone here. I'm not sure if this will actually show up on camera or not. But uh, there's, a, there's my key back in here. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So these two connection points here, if that's showing up, I'm going to actually just go right here because, again, pins four and five are tied together. Let's see if I can get my clip there. And then the uh, second connection point for this test is going to be um, resistor R3, which is uh, 490,000 ohms or 490K. And if you follow the lead of the uh, second IF filter over, uh, it attaches itself here to the bottom, again, of the uh, 490K resistor, which is uh, yellow, white, yellow. 
So let me uh, just get my lead there. And uh, you can see there's our uh, DC resistance. I'm reading uh, almost identical to the uh, yeah to the primary. So basically an ohm or less apart. So I'm at 50.3 ohms of uh, DC resistance. So I think we're good there. Let's move on over to the. We'll probably go ahead and tackle that uh, first IF transformer. Do it next and. Um, so let me get uh, things set up and just uh, reference my uh, schematic uh, here as well. Okay guys, now let's take a look at the uh, first IF transformer. And the first IF transformer is located here. And what I'm going to do for reference again, um, I'm going to use this tube here, which is 6A8. And again, I'm doing the picture-in-picture, picture, so you'll be able to follow along. But if you look at the plate connection, again, which is pin 3 on this tube, it attaches itself to the top side of the IF filter. So let me flip this around. Make sure we've got it in uh, view here. But the uh, connection point, again, I referenced is uh, pin number three. So here's your key, and again, you go clockwise from underneath, counterclockwise from the top side, one, two, three. So this should be my uh, IF connection that goes to the top side. Now, again, following this schematic is uh, the same. Uh, there's a common connection, again, between the lower side of the IFs and it takes it back to that uh, brown connection point on the speaker. It's just easy to get to, so I'll use it for reference. And uh, let's flip it on and see what we get. Okay, I'm reading about uh, 49.9 or 50 ohms of uh, DC resistance. And again, this is the primary for the uh, IF transformer or filter. So uh, let me document that, and uh, let's move along now and check the secondary side of this same uh, IF transformer. Okay, now let's take a look again at the, uh, the first IF transformer. And again, we, now we're focused on the, uh, the secondary side. Again, you can reference the picture-in-picture. Uh, -picture. Uh, again, our reference point, if you're looking at the schematic, the top side of the secondary IF connects itself with uh, grid 1, which is your grid cap lead here that would attach itself back to the uh, 6K7 tube. So, all I'm going to do here is just tie my um, lead here back to this connection point, which is this grid wire, again, which is um, the uh, grid cap for the 6K7. And again, that attaches itself here, looking at the schematic, to the uh, top side of the secondary for that first IF. Um, let me see if I can turn this over now without compromising that connection point. Okay, and the second connection, get this out of the way so you guys can see the meter as well, we'll flip this on. Uh, the second connection point ties back down to that R3 resistor here. But it's the opposite side, it's the top side of the resistor, not the bottom side where we measured uh, for the second IF. So we'll connect, excuse me, we'll connect the lead here and we'll read the uh, DC resistance and you can see we're looking good. 49.6 ohms. 49.5, 49.6. So uh, that's excellent. So that means, uh, best I can tell, the uh, first IF and second IF uh, transformers are good. All right, let's. Uh, I'm going to end this video. Try to keep it short, and then uh, we'll move on over to uh, some more of the uh, component level devices.